What's up sub fans around the world and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to fix some brake calipers and you probably have noticed by the thumbnail of this video. So we have some four piston Brembo brakes from a Chevy Camaro and uh, it's the same GM brand so they fit on the subs. This is quite a common upgrade on the NG95, so I have seen a lot of people doing them. So now it's my turn to do like my twist and take on it. So let's see what we have to work with today. I've got so much stuff going on right here. Here's a stack of brake discs, which I got from gtech.se. But here's the front discs of the big brake upgrade and these discs are huge so these are 355 millimeter in diameter and I also got some steel braided brake lines to go with the brake kit should be a really nice feel in the braking but here's the star of today's show. So this is the four piston calipers and the caliper that should fit is the ones that sit on the Chevy Camaro from 2010 to 2015. And also you can use Cadillac CTS-V brakes and there's a couple of others that will fit bolt-on as well but I know for a fact that this fits and it's the same caliper that Saab uses for their kit but you, you will have another logo so that's what we're doing today we are going to disassemble everything I bought these calipers used but as you can see the pads are pretty much like almost brand new looking to me but we are going to change them into new ones so we are going to clean this off and sand down any imperfections mask off everything and then we are going to paint them and we are going to use some primer then we have the special Saab laser red so it's not like the regular Brembo red it's actually a Saab color to make it a little bit more special and then we are going to add a new logo on the brakes and this was actually a little bit too big but not much to do right now the Saab festival is coming up and I don't have a way I don't have time to wait for another delivery of these because these took a couple of weeks to get. So this will be special. This will be like oversized Brembo decal but I think it will look cool anyways. And then we are going to finish them off with a 2K clear so they will hold up and resist the heat a little bit better. So let's just start with disassembling everything and clean this off. So this is my first time disassembling brakes like this, but I think it's not that hard. You have like this little bracket right here. So you need to push down and then push in the pins backwards. And I think I don't think this should be too hard. I'm going to use a plier. I'm going to push this down while pulling it back. I'm going to clean this off a little bit later. Let's 
like so and out comes the new pads as I said this looks really nice and a lot of meat left on them and we are going to talk about this little like Mickey Mouse ears a little bit later on So now we got them off and you can see this has been laying around for a while. I don't know if it's mole or what it is but we are going to clean them off to start with. Now the caliper is somewhat clean, just a quick degreasing. So now we're gonna grind down or sand down a little bit of imperfections that's on from the casting of the caliper. So we need to remove some of this prior to the painting. And here we are just going to sand very lightly so we get like a clean nice finish to apply the new emblem or the decal and then we are going to mask up for the pistons and then start applying some paint
the laser red base coat and it came out really nice so usually what you do right now is wait for it to dry then apply the logo and then apply the clear coat so you include the decal into the caliper and all the clear coat so it will be more resistant to heat and everything but since I think this logo is a little bit big I'm just gonna spray down the clear coat wait for the caliper to dry then apply the decal and when I then later on get a smaller and maybe a more proper decal then I can just switch it out so this is to protect myself so now we're just going to activate the 2k clear and start to spray it finished product we got down to like one tack coat of clear and then two more heavy coats and I think it came out really nice for being a spray can rattle can job I think this looks really good so now we're going to let these hang until tomorrow, dry up and fully cure. Then we are going to mask them off and uh, apply the decals. And then we will talk a little bit more about the brake pads for these calipers, which is something special. So now the caliper has dried overnight and it looks fantastic. So now we're going to cut this off. Like so. And you can see the finish right here. Really nice. So now we are going to apply the decal. So this is a little bit tricky to get it 100% straight. The first one I did, I took the whole sticker like this and had it put on and it came out a little bit of an angle. So on the next one I have cut out everything so I really see where I'm putting it. So it's just to take this wrap off.
like I said before the decal is a little bit big but it looks so fresh compared to what it was before so I'm really happy about how this turns out now we can just remove the other masking So that's the finished product, I don't know what you think, comment down below, do you think the logo is a little bit too big or should it be smaller? Now it's sticking out a little bit but I think it looks pretty clean and I really love the contrast between the laser red sub color and the bright white decal and as I said before this Mickey Mouse brake pads actually these have a function so it's like weights for reducing like resonance in the car or vibrations in the pads because a lot of owners of that run four piston calipers like these ones right here are feeling like huge vibrations at break-ins and stuff like that and usually they think that the, the brake disc is crooked so they have the brake discs machined but uh, in most cases it's actually the, the pads and on the Saabs if you buy a Saab kit you don't have these weights right here so I think they are ugly as hell but they make a huge difference in the performance so that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions. In the next video we will be installing this on the car with the new brake lens. So until next time, have a good one, bye!